Watson from Wolfgang Puck Catering. Thank you so much for being of here. Thanks for having me. And you're doing a twist on the burger. You're doing it with seafood. That's right, with shrimp. We thought, uh, in light of the Fourth of July, that it'd be kind of fun to do a little twist on a classic. You know, everyone does the common burger, so yeah. uh, we're so close to the Gulf. Why not try using shrimp instead? Yes, I've heard from some people who have tried this, and they said it was simply amazing. So I want to know exactly how to do it, so I can <laughs> I can pretend like I, I've got your skills. <laughs> great, great. Well, I'm gonna kind of throw it all together okay. in a bowl for you and walk you through that. Um, so anytime you want to start with your shrimp, or you always want to start with your wet product. So you've got a little bit of mayonnaise. Um, shrimp doesn't have a lot of fat to it, so you need to add a little bit of mayo and a little bit of eggs. This will also help bind it. Um, we're going to okay. season it a little bit with your favorite hot sauce. This is Tabasco. Um, a little bit of sherry vinegar, just for a little bit of tang. You're going to get in um, a little bit of celery. It's about six tablespoons of celery, four tablespoons of scallion. Um, some parsley. And then since it's summer, I mean, you can add in whatever vegetable you want. You could do zucchini, um, tomatoes. I'm going to add a little bit of sweet corn into mine. Oh, yeah. um, a little bit of spice for some cayenne. A little bit of paprika. Now, what I've done with my shrimp is I've divided it in two. Half of it's raw, you put in your food processor. Okay. Spin that until it's mousse like. Um, and then I take the other half, poach it until it's just cooked through, and then chop that. This is going to give it a little bit of a texture. This will help bind it, and this will give it a texture of a burger. Oh, See, so have, that's a secret. Having never heard of shrimp burgers, that was the first question. I thought, well, how do you keep it all together? How do you keep it? <laughs> and that's where the binding that's agent right. comes in. That's okay. right. That's right. So you're going to use a little bit of raw product, and you're going to use some of it cooked also. Okay. Huh. Um, I also brought a little bit of panko with me today. Um, once I bind that together, if it's a little wet, you can uh, bring it together with a little bit of breadcrumbs. Um, a little bit of what you said you could bring? Panko, panko, which is a dried breadcrumb. Oh, okay. Um, you can also use gluten-free bread if you're a celiac. Um, yeah. You can use cornbread. It's really kind of endless. Okay. Um, so you're telling me those burgers will stay together? They will stay together. Hey, There's look the at living that. proof right <laughs> there, my friend. How long do you cook it then? Because since you've got a little bit of the, the raw shrimp. So as, as long as long your, your burger stays underneath an inch, in yeah. thickness, you can cook it right on the stove top. Oh, perfect. Um, if, okay. if you're if you're going for the El Grande burger, yeah. I would finish them off in the oven. Okay, but right now for like that size, that's perfect. So how long does that? Correct, take? about Probably. two about two and a half minutes on that's each it. side. Um, okay. If you got a meat thermometer, um, right around 140, 145 degrees 140. is perfect. 140. You warmed up the buns as well, and look Correct. at what this looks like. Correct. Oh my gosh! And then you put what did you have on here? So. Cucumbers? I, I love uh, remoulade with my seafood, so remoulade on top, fresh cucumber, tomato, a little bit of bread and butter pickles. But you can put whatever you like on there. Avocado's great. Yum. And it's endless. Looks good. So, and you guys, you guys cater at so many different places. We should mention you've got a restaurant at Union at Reunion Tower. Yes, ma'am. You do uh, the Pro Museum, Union Station, at and Performing Arts Center. The list goes on and, and it on. It keeps going. So if you need catering, definitely call on Wolfgang Puck, and uh, we'll put this recipe on our website as well. Great. Thank you very much. We'll be right back.